Good morning folks, Barry the Beer Guy here. Today we're going to do a brief class or I don't know, discussion of Jacob Schmidt Brewing Company and their Schmidt Scenic Series of Cans. When I was a kid, we would pick up aluminum cans in the ditches in Minnesota to get money and we noticed that there were all these cool outdoor scene Schmidt Scenic Beer Cans and uh, they were painted by noted wildlife artist Les Kuba of Hutchinson, Minnesota who got his start painting beer trucks and we're gonna learn more about these cool cans. Here is this display made in 1973. The Schmidt Beer Collector Series had 17 cans originally. What were they? The Ice Fisher, Plow Horses, Dog, Muskie, Deer, Bear, Colt, Honker, Canoe, Moose, Mallard, Covered Wagon, Pheasant, Elk, Buffalo, the Cowboy, and the Antelope. If you look down at the bottom of this display, you'll see that it was created in 1973 by the Hylum and Brewing Company. And if you look at these cans, you'll see they are straight-sided steel. See, it just goes evenly into the seam on both top and bottom. And there are five different cities shown on this display. These cans were wedged into the display and there were 17 of them. Here's another interesting tidbit. You see the Indian can here? Now look at the example on the left. The earlier cans had a gold metallic border around the word Schmidt and those were made in the uh, late 1950s. And I don't know if you can see the top on this can but it's a pull tab and the can on the left is a bank top but those were actually originally flat tops where you would have to pierce the lid with an opener to get in and drink the cans but I'll show you the back side of these cans and they're definitely different the one on the left is more valuable because they are older we're gonna look at the back of these you see the difference next to the seam too it's also a bright shiny metallic gold and this was brewed and filled by Jacob Schmidt Brewing Company, St. Paul, Minnesota. They were bought out by the Pfeiffer Company in, I believe, 1957 or so. And you'll see so many variations on these with the wording. Pfeiffer doing business as Jacob Schmidt. There's so many variations of these cans. But if you are going to, uh, I don't know, the more valuable of these two is your left-hand version. They're much older. <laughs> Here is another tidbit. There are 21 cans in the Schmidt set, but in the original set, there's 17. The story is that Les Kuba was not real adept at painting mechanized things, or, well, he did do human figures, but you'll see the additional four cans in the set. The race car, 18, the skier, can 19. One of my favorites living in Minnesota with the Arctic Cat snowmobile. That's number 20. And to round out the set, the final one was the water skier and boater. So here folks is your 21 can set of the Schmidt Wildlife Scening Cans. Now do you see these cans that were added later? see how they crimp in before they hit the rim those are called crimp steel cans and they were made uh, I guess after 74 or so but here are the 21 cans here are a couple versions of the aluminum can which came later and you can see they don't hold a candle in color and uh, being vivid and just distinctive these were kind of an afterthought, still going after the Schmidt drinkers, but turkey can made in aluminum. It just doesn't really jump out at you. Collector series, and uh, here's one with the loons on it. It just didn't do much for me. If you collected cans, especially in Minnesota when you were a kid, you probably collected the Schmidt Wildlife series of cans. Uh, no shortage of fun and uh, free entertainment in the ditches 
and you were doing uh, in the era of ecology doing a service to keeping the earth clean stacking your cans in a pyramid uh, moms would let you do that back in the era without calling child protective services but this series of cans holds a uh, dear spot in my beer loving heart and I thought I'd put out a brief video explaining it if you enjoy this kind of stuff subscribe like this video I'll keep trying to do more of them I appreciate uh, your fandom and we'll see you at a show soon